Hey there everyone, this is Cloud Chief, and in today's video I'm going over Diadem 2.0. There are two different types, there is Fury and there is Matron. Fury is for combat classes and Matron is for gathering classes. In this video we will be strictly talking about Fury. So when you enter you'll be given an objective. You want to head straight to that objective and do it first. Pretty much want your focus to be on doing your fates and your main objectives. That's at this point the main reason to do it and that's going to help you to get the 265 gear. You have to do something else that I'll talk about a little later about the weapons. But considering the drop rate on that, you should honestly just be focusing on trying to get armor. If you're coming in here trying to focus on getting weapons, you're going to end up wasting your time and that's not going to be the best way to do it. That's just kind of a bonus that you'll get for doing the uh, emergency missions later. After you finished your primary objective, you'll want to do fates until you fill up your evaluation bar. You'll see the bar on the right hand side, and once that is completely filled up, it'll trigger another objective. Again, once you have that, head straight to the new objective. There are five different types of objectives. There are kill enemies, get drops, kill NMs, lure and kill enemies, and transport eggs. If you have a lure and kill enemies, wait until your entire party is there to pop them so that way you're not popping them and then half your party is wiping and then you end up having a lot of downtime to get your party to recover. If you see a corrupt element, you definitely want to take the time to go ahead and kill it. They will drop loot chests, whether it be regular loot chests or damaged loot chests, and they drop to the pool so that way everyone in your party can lot them. If you have an escort mission and you're trying to move along and there are mobs in the way, a really easy way to get them out is to have someone else who isn't moving the object hop on a mount and aggro the mobs and drag them away. Once they get out of their range, they'll de-aggro and just run back, so it clears them out nice and easily. Once you're done all your objectives, you will go ahead and then get a uh, box to click, and that will give you your 10 loot boxes along with additional stuff like materia, crafting items, etc. You need to take then the loot boxes to a picker of locks NPC to get your reward. There is an actual NPC inside and outside of Diadem, so you can go ahead and trade them in there. This will get you your 265 gear with random stats, uh, brass coins, material, and other crafting items out of the main chest. You can get damaged chests also, but you need 40 of them to equal one chest. So rarely when you're doing diadem, you'll now get something that'll pop up and it'll say emergency mission. This will spawn rarely and it'll give you a 15 minute time extension. You also get a message across your screen. When this happens, you're going to want to go to the center of the map. You can see the location we're you know, going to in the video. Once you go to that location, you'll click there and then you'll go to the emergency mission area. From here, you need to plan with, your, with other parties you know which portal your party is going to go to after the first boss. First boss is fairly easy to down, so don't worry about him. After the boss is down, you enter the portal with your party. So then at that point, you're going to want to target your tank and go with your tank to wherever your group's going to be. The next boss, you're going to want to prioritize elementals over the boss. You don't want the elementals to reach the center of the area, so make sure you take them out first. If you end up dying, don't worry about it. You can just go ahead and home point and then just run back to your party. You will actually home point to some place in the zone that you're currently at for the emergency mission. So to sum this up, if you're looking to get 265 gear and you have lots of different jobs that could use 265 gear, this is a great place to come in and, you know, get your gear upgraded. If you really want a 280 weapon or you don't really have use for the 265 
gear, this is probably not the best event for you because you're probably going to get more frustrated than anything else because of the low drop rate on 280 weapons plus it being random and it's not going to be time efficient. The 10 lock boxes that you get from the objectives is much better than farming the star ranked fates. Since you would need, you know, 40 lock boxes to equal, you know, one chest, essentially 400 damage chests to equal one, it's better just to do the run. So if you're doing with the pickup groups, it's going to be best, in my opinion, to leave after 30 minutes and re enter. So that way you're going through and just getting the objectives done as fast as possible so that way you can get the 265 gear. So just you focus your boss, then your crystal, making sure you take out any elements that pop, and then once that's done, you're going to want to go ahead and then help the other groups. Once all three crystals are destroyed, then the main boss will pop in the center of the room. So once the main boss pops, you'll need everyone to then try and focus on the main boss. Make sure that you are still killing any elements that pop. They still need to be focused on. There will also be these little platforms that pop. You need six people per platform. If you don't get people on the platform, you can take a lot of damage. You also want to make sure that you get out of any bombs that show up. Make sure you're avoiding them because they can do some damage. All you got to do is just get as far away as possible. It's one of those, the further you are away from it, the less damage you take. So once the boss is down, you'll go ahead and then get your chests in the center. You can go ahead and then you know open your chest to get your rewards. You can get 280 weapons from this, but it is extremely rare. Make sure that you do not leave without getting your drops. If you leave, you cannot re-enter. Once you've completed your main objectives, you can enter the lower areas of Diadem and do higher level fates. There'll be star rank fates and they drop one lockbox and 50 damage lockboxes. There's also a chance that you can get a minion out of doing these star fates. With, you know, strong free company groups, it will, might be worth it to farm the fates on the lower levels, but it's not worth it with pickups. So, if you're just doing mostly pickups, I would just stick to coming in, doing it for 30 minutes, leaving, and then re-entering, and then just doing any emergency missions as they come up. So that pretty much sums up Diadem for Final Fantasy XIV. I hope you got some value out of this and learned whether this is an event you should be doing or not to help you progress in the game. And may you have success in all you do.